Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on the do while statement. I'm going to go and open up my browser here to javacjava.com, click on the begin button, which takes us to the Java tutorials page, and I'm going to scroll down to the do while statement. The do while statement is a looping statement that executes a block of code, then evaluates an expression to see if it should loop again or not. Code inside the do while code block will execute at least once, even if the expression portion evaluates to false. Once the code from the code block is executed, the expression portion will be evaluated. Stopping the loop simply means that the expression portion will evaluate to false. Something unique to the do while loop is that the expression portion must have a semicolon after the closing parenthesis. Here's the do while loop structure. You got your do keyword statement up here. Then you got your opening uh, curly brace for the code block and the closing curly brace. So there's your code block right there. And then you've got your while keyword and then you've got your expression and then you got your semicolon. Don't forget the closing semicolon. Okay, let's go ahead and come down here and we're just gonna Highlight, hit Control C to copy on this, or right click and select copy, whatever your choice is. Go to Start, Search, type in CMD. That'll open up the command prompt. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier, go to Start Run, type in CMD. First thing you want to do is type in Java C. You should see all this stuff scroll by. If you don't, if you get an error, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing the Java Development Kit. Uh, you want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing on with these tutorials. Okay, let's go and type in CLS to clear the screen. And we'll type in CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory and backslash tells it to go to the root. Type in MD, which is make directory, and then Java. I already have that folder, so it, uh, if you didn't, it would go ahead and create it for you. We're going to change directories to the Java folder, and then we're going to make a directory here. We're just going to call this do while, and we'll change to the do while folder. And we'll type in notepad, and then do while.java is going to be our source code file name, also known as our compilation unit. It must end in the .java extension. Okay, let's hit Control V to paste it in there, or right click and select paste. Let's go up here and let's save this. This is really, really simple here. Um, initializing a variable B of Boolean data type to false. And then we are going to do a simple do while statement. So we've got our do, and then we've got our code block. So this is going to execute before um, our, our expression is even evaluated. So we'll go ahead and print this out to the console. And then we got while, and then our expression right here, b, which we know is going to equal false. So this is just going to, after it evaluates the expression, it's going to continue on down here and on the way down. Then I'm initializing a variable i equal to zero of int data type, and we'll do in the same do while statement. So basically what this is going to do is going to print out i, which first iteration through is going to be 0, and then it's going to add 1 to it. And then it's going to come down here and evaluate this expression. So while it's less than 10, it's going to keep printing out. So it'll print out 0 through 9, and then it will go ahead and uh, that'll be it for the do while statement. I'll continue on execution with the rest of the method, which at that point it's done. So let's go ahead and come back here, CLS to clear the screen, Java C for the Java compiler. And we'll pass the source code file we want to compile. Type in Java, do, do while. We're going to strip that class off there. Let's go ahead and run this. So we got exactly what we were searching, what we were expecting. Uh, statements are executed at least once, even if the expression results in false. And then 0 through 9 printed off right here. So that's basically how the do while statement works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, close out of that, leave you with some final thoughts here. Uh, I rarely find an occasion to use the do while loop that can't be better served using one of the other looping control flow statements. Uh, just to reiterate, if you do use it, don't forget the semicolon at the end of the expression. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.